Hey, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to explain about the single point track. So first we'll create a composition. So just we need to create a composition based on the footage. And now if you play here, we have the motion for this board. So suppose if you want to create any text or image should follow this uh, board here. So manually giving position animation, it's not possible and we will not get the perfect animations. So first we need to track this board. So we'll get the animation path so that we can able to attach this to the text which you want to attach here. So first we'll see how to track this. So in order to track this first, we need to open a tracker panel. So here you can see there is an like tracker panel. So in case if you're not able to see this, we can go to this windows and you can search for this tracker here. So now we need to open this tracker. And now as we want to track this motion of this board, so we need to click on this track motion. So just we need to click on this. And now it will open in separate layer. And also now here it has been created a track point. So the tracking will work only when there is a contrast points. Uh, for example, suppose if you want to track this motion of this board here, we should track based on any contrast points. Like suppose if you want to track, you can use this number or you can use this any like black spot. So we cannot track onto the plane area here. And now we need to place this tracker to the pixel where you want to track. So just we can move this track by using here, left click and drag. And now inside box, we need to cover this uh, pixel here. It means whatever the pixel you want to track, the total pixel has to be inside this in small box. So we can scale this and just left click and drag so that we can scale. And now what the thing is, now I want to track this pixel so that the total entire pixels have placed inside this box here. And simple, just uh, we have to come to this tracker panel and we need to click on this analyze forward so that it will track. So just click on this. So now it will start tracking. Uh, so wherever the pixels are moving, according to that, the tracking, uh, the tracker is following the pixels here. And after uh, end of this composition, the tracker will jump because the pixels are going out of this thing. So just, uh, you can use this uh, track forward to track pixel by pixel. So up to here, it's fine. Literally the tracker will go into, uh, the tracker will jump because the pixel is going out of this thing. So when we try, when we attach this text, we have to move this text manually to the outside here. So for timing up to here, it's fine. And now what the thing is when we track, it has been created a path. Exactly, we got the movements of this board here. So see, you can, uh, if you zoom in, we got the perfect movements of this board, like moving up and down and just straight forward. And now what the thing is, we can attach text or images or videos to this board. So in order to do that, first we need to create a uh, object which you want to attach. So in, in this case, I want to create a text. So I will go to this composition and just I will create a text. Let's say I want to attach uh, to this board here. So now what the thing is, this text has to follow the board here. So at present it is not following. So we need to attach this text to the tracker here. And also before attaching, make sure when we select this text here, the anchor point of the text should be placed near to the tracking point. So as we have used this tracking point at this position, and you can see there is a plus symbol which has been placed exactly near to the center of this nine number. So what the thing is the text, uh, the anchor point of this text has to place exactly to the positions where we have tracked here. So because whenever we attach this text to the tracker point, so this anchor point is going to attach to this tracker. So if you're not changing the positions of this tracker point, when we attach the text will go to this position here. So that's why we need to change the positions of this anchor point. So in order to change this uh, positions of this anchor point, we can click on this. So just we can left click and drag. And suppose in case if you want to match this text color, uh, so you can uh, use this character panel. So just if you go to the character panel and if you select this, and we can use this eyedropper so that we can exactly match the color here. And also we want to use this blend mode because it is not been exactly uh, blended onto this board here. So we can use blend mode. So we can use this overlay. So we can use this multiply. So let's see now it has been nicely blended onto this board. And also we got these shadows onto the text here. Because if you are using this normal blend mode, it, it is not matching because the shadow is not going to fall on this text here. 
So we need to change the blend mode. So just I will put it to like multiply. So we got this. And now what the thing is, we need to attach this text to the tracker here. So first we need to go to this uh, layer panel. And now here, what the thing is, we need to attach this text to this tracker. So in order to do that, after selecting this footage, we need to go to this tracker panel, select this. And now we need to select this option called edit target. So we need to select this and select the layer which you want to attach. So we in, in this case, we need to attach this text. So I will select this text here and click on OK. And just click on Apply and click on OK here. So now see the text has been attached. Now if you play, so the text is following the boat here. And when you come to this corner point here, we need to go to the positions of this type of uh, positions of this text here and manually we have to place it to outside here because now the text will stay here only because as we have tracked up to only up to this frame here. So manually we need to change the positions of this text here. And in case, suppose if you want to attach an image, you can attach. Uh, so for example, if I import any image here, let's say if I import this image, so import and just I will place onto this here. And let's say I will uh, scale this. Let's say I will place. And also I will use the blend modes so that just I will put it to like multiply. Now it has been nicely blended onto this. And also I will change the anchor point. As I said, we need to change the anchor point before attaching to the tracker point. So just select this and just we need to change the anchor point to this position. And now we'll go to this layer panel. And now here we'll select this edit target. And now this time we need to select that PNG which we have imported. So select this and click on okay and click on apply okay so now the image has been attached now if you click on this play just it will track perfectly according to the board movements and here we will get a problem uh see see now here actually what the thing is the image has to be back side of this pole here because as this is a footage here now we want only the pole should be on the top of this image here so in order to do that we need to duplicate this footage here so that we can able to mask only the pole part so we need to duplicate this video and let's say we can name it as like pole and just we need to place it on the top of this image here now this is an entire footage here so if you see if i hide everything now this is also entire footage but what the thing is we need to mask only up to the area where we want to show so now uh, i want to show only this pole area so what we'll do is we will select this footage which we have duplicated and we can use a pen tool to add the mask so make sure you have to select this layer and just you have to left click and mask only the area where you want just no need of masking the entire pole here so just move this properly and now see we got this uh, image here and also we have only this pole which has been separated using the mask so just we will enable this and now we will see so see now the image is in the back side of this pole here. So in this way we can use the mask and suppose if you have any camera movements in this video, so we have to make an animation for this uh, path here. So suppose if you go to this mask option and here we have to animate this mask path so that according to the video movement, uh, we need to change the positions of the mask here because at present there is no video movements in this. As you see, suppose if I go to the starting frame, here there is a little bit, a little bit movements uh, in the starting frame, but here no need of making any animation because still the image is in the starting uh, this position here. So what the thing is, just in case if we, if the mask is moving outside when the image is overlapping, then only at that time we can make the animation. For this for this situation, no need of doing any animation here. And also what the thing is, sometimes we need to attach the object. Uh, wherever we have tracked means for example suppose if you want to place any text over this area and if you, you if you are using this track sometimes the movement of this position and this position will not be matched so we need to track the area where you want to place the object here 
So in this case, suppose if I want to track this area here. So for example, now if you want to track again, just we need to select the footage. And just we can go to the tracker panel and click on this track motion again. And now select this. Let's say if I want to track this. And now we'll click on this track. But here you will get a problem because in between there is a pole, so the tracker will jump. So see now the tracker has been jumped because we have lost the pixels when it is overlapping this pole here. So we have one solution here. Uh, so just I will undo. So we need to track up to the pole. Uh, so let's say we will stop and here we will track frame by frame. Up to here. And now what the thing is just I will play the footage. I will not track just I will play the footage until uh, I see the pixel again. And now just directly I will place this tracker over this point here. So what the thing is now you will get this straight point so that there will be no problem for the tracking here. So now see it has been added a keyframes automatically at this position. And now from here we can again track this point. So just we can click on this track. So see now if you go back, now if you play, so the tracker will move in the straight direction here. So in this way, we can use a single point track. So in the next video, I will explain about this single point track and also how to scale the objects. So see you in the next video.